All right, time to get a video on these two great cats who haven't gone anywhere yet and are available with no, currently no one in line as of this morning, which is Monday morning, the 20th. Um, Tony, this is Tony here, and Lexi. Um, they are both wonderful cats in great health, declawed in front. Um, Semi-bonded, they'd like to go together. Here's Lexi up, see, up here. Lexi, obviously the female, a little bit more independent, um, kind of quieter, but still friendly and interactive. Just does the typical female thing and hangs to herself, asks for attention when she's ready. Tony Baloney, as we're calling him, very outgoing, friendly, interactive, uh, great guy. Talking away, you hear him. They were given up. They've, they've come back to us. Uh, well, they've come to us twice. The first time, if I remember correctly, their owner was moving um, and couldn't take, take them with. Um, the second time they were given up for doing a lot of upchucking. Um, and so they are a little bit on the food fussy side. Well, not that food fussy. Look at all that food is gone. They've been here three weeks. We've had three upchucks, very small upchucks. So there's a couple of tricks um, to it. Um, one is to not feed junk food. Two is to feed in small quantities. Um, three is, um, ideally if you raised their food bowls off the floor, that would help. We don't have that done here, but, um, chest height. And anyway, we can detail some of the, some of the things that will help. I think the biggest and most important thing is, um, Tony in particular, but Lexi too, though she's not going to show us for this video, um, are very, very, um, sensitive Siamese, very Siamese cats. They want and love their people. They want to be around their people. They want to be loved by their people. So you've got to um, you've got to go into this uh, with uh, the understanding you may have an upchuck or two. They may be a little bit fussy in the food department, although we're going to send them with everything they're eating here and clearly they're cleaning their dishes here and doing fine not like it's a super expensive food or anything like that. Um, normal food, you know, just not a grocery store brand. When you get into the meow mixes and the friskies and some of those foods, you get a lot of added dyes, you get a lot of corn in your food, you get a lot of other things that some of these cats aren't going to digest well. So to me this is just not a big deal for a pair of great great cats they are absolutely ready to go um, no you have no scratching worries because they're declawed you've got no nipping or crabbiness I'm not saying that at all which sometimes we see with the declawed cats you've got very good in the litter box they're sharing uh, a box without issues um, and you've got uh, you know, very typical one male, one female, the male being outgoing, goofy, and friendly, and the female being a little bit more reserved. Um, there she is. But still a lovely, lovely gal. She just isn't going to kiss on the first date. So I really hope somebody will consider this pair. They um, have not been around other cats, so we'd like them to be the only two cats in the home. Um, dogs are sort of questionable. They're getting used to dogs. We have a small bouncy dog that comes up and visits them every evening. They're kind of getting used to that. Um, I'm not going to mark them okay with dogs because it wouldn't, they wouldn't be suited to go into a home with a lot of dogs and a lot of dog interaction. But they could manage, I think, with proper introductions. So, great pair of cats. Somebody's really missing out.